Um, if Rhode Island as a state is going to be a place that is moral and just and ethical, we cannot associate with companies that profit off of human suffering. Uh, in that spirit, today I'm announcing that at my recommendation, the State Investment Commission voted this morning unanimously to stop investing in companies that manufacture assault weapons for civilian use and to stop investing in companies that own or operate for-profit prisons. Uh, assault weapons in for-profit prisons cause unimaginable pain for countless Americans, including many Rhode Islanders. And the state should not be associated with businesses that are in those industries. Uh, I do not take this action lightly. Uh, my job as state treasurer is to be a responsible steward of the state's finances. And as a fiduciary, I understand that our first job is always to deliver strong financial performance for the state of Rhode Island, and in particular for the members of the pension fund uh, who have dedicated their lives to serving the community. Um, one of the things that I want to highlight is that this uh, action that we are taking uh, will not hurt the state's finances in any way, uh, and in fact, I think is very much in keeping with our role as a fiduciary for the state's funds. My name is Erica uh, Cuter, and I am from East Greenwich, Rhode Island, and I survived the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history. On October 1st, 2017, I was having a wonderful time listening to country music with friends at the Route 91 Music Festival in Las Vegas when a lone gunman fired more than 1,100 rounds from his hotel room on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay. He killed 58 people and 851 people were physically injured, all within 11 minutes. This man owned 55 firearms, mostly assault rifles, and all of these weapons were legally purchased. That night I heard so much screaming, sounds I cannot erase from my memory. I saw people trying to be revived as they laid motionless, and I saw so much blood. I watched as my dear friend laid shot in his back and, his wa and watched his wife debate whether she should stay with him or try to save herself so she could get home to her daughter. The carnage that one person did with those assault rifles, I pray every day that nobody has to experience it. Yet here we are two years later, and we continue to have mass shootings with these type of rifles. That night not only changed my life significantly, it also impacted those who are close to us, especially our children. And even though fortunately my friend who was shot survived, he is living the rest of his life with bullet fragments in his body and all the issues that come along with it. So when leaders like Seth Magaziner choose to listen to the stories of gun violence victims and recognize that there are far too many of us, positive change can happen. And when our state government takes a stand and prioritizes the well-being of the members of our community, lives will be saved. I'm so grateful to be living in a state whose leaders are doing their best to make a safer world for my girls while setting an example of good government to the rest of our country. Thank you. Thank you.